back over the Grand National fences again for this one then. And it's a two mile five furlong not to one forty. The Grand Sefton and at the top we've got Cape Solitude for Darren Thompson, Mana Magic for John Morgan, Market Tavern for Grand Clutterbuck Media Agency, Paul Rhodes, Gold Coast, Craig Beckwith, Attracted Branch, James Shale and Ellie Sultane. Thomas Rogers, Fires at Midnight, Martin Lidham, Glory B Drama, David Robertson, Muttley, Stu Gray, Admiral Escoli, Martin Lidham, Psychopath, Graham Clutterbuck, Victorian Elfal, Thomas Rogers, Angel or Demon, Joshua Sutherland and Marrakesh Miller for Ben Benici, called in and away then, and heading straight off to the first of the Grand National Fences, it's Cape Solitude is going to be the first to show, from Lanelli Sultane and Fires at Midnight. As they get over it, they're all over it okay. Down on its nose, there was Glory B Drama. Psychopath is the early back marker as they make their way towards the chair. Then a big test early on for these horses in this one. And Cape Solitude will come down to it in the lead. With Fires at Midnight on the inside in second. As they get over that one, they all took it nicely. And now they have the relatively easy task of skipping over the water jump and then they'll swing out for a full circuit of the Grand National course and over the water they go with Cape Solitude in the lead fires at midnight Gold Coast Victorian Elf or Angel of Demon all close up there looking towards the outside of the film Glory B Dramas the one that's caught widest of all on this turn the back marker early on is Marrakesh Miller but it's Cape Solitude then making his way towards the fence which is the first in the Grand National Angel or Demon is in second then on the inside Gold Coast is third fires at midnight is next in Victorian Elfal Mana Magic and John Morgan Gray is next then Lanelli Sultane an attracted branch with Media Agency then the other Gray there is Admiral Ascoli with Psychopath, Glory B Drama, Marrakesh Miller and finally Motley as they finally get to the fourth and over it they all go and they all got over that one nicely making their way down towards the next end now with Gold Coast on the inside just the leader as they all get over that one they all jump that one nicely as well all still on their feet after five fences and they're making their way down towards the big ditch now then this is the first big test in the Grand National it's the like the third test today, they get over that one nicely, and it's Angel or Demon in the lead from Gold Coast in the second. Cape Solitude, Fires of Midnight, Attracted Branch, that's the leading group as they come down to the seventh, and over that one they go, and it's Cape Solitude going nicely in the lead. Cape Solitude then from Attracted Branch, Gold Coast, Victorian Elfal, Fires at Midnight is after that one as they take the one before beaches, and over that one they go. A little bit slow at the back was Marrakesh Miller, but it's Cape Solitude who's suddenly gone four clear of Victorian Elfal and Gold Coast. And then Angel, or Demon and Lanelli Sultane, and Mana Magic, and then Attracted Branch and Fires at Midnight Admiral Escola as they come down to Beaches Brook. And over that one they go, and they've all got over Beaches nicely, with Marrakesh Miller still just the back marker. But it's Cape Solitude down towards the Foynhaven fence, in the lead by two lengths. Comes down to it nicely, gets over it. Well, there's a four there, and yet again, the smallest fence on the course has claimed. A, a victim and Lanelli Sultane is the one that's gone as they come down towards the canal turn. It's Cape Solitude on the inside of Angel or Demon. Gap back to Gold Coast is about five lengths as they come down to the canal and over that one they go and they're all safely over that one with the exception of Marrakesh Miller who got rid of the jockey right at the back. Angel or Demon's taking it up and as they come down towards Valentine's. Angel or Demon in the lead gets over that one nicely. A slower jump while the horse in second. Cape Solitude. Gap back to Gold Coast then Mana Magic and Attracted Branch and then Admiral Escolian fires at mid Nine, Victorian Elfal, then Media Agency and Motley as they get over to 13th and this race is going by in a flash and it's Angel or Demon and Cape Solitude who are six lengths clear of the Grey Manor Magic in third, then Gold Coast Attracted Brunch over that dip, final ditch they go, that's the 14th, they've got just three more fences to take then now and it's Angel or Demon and Cape Solitude who are clear of Manor Magic and Fires at Midnight, then comes Gold Coast and Attracted Brunch over to third last they go all over that one, okay and Angel or Demon's gone for home, Angel or Demon Cape Solitude trying to close. Then comes Mana Magic and Fires at Midnight. Gold Coast is still there. Muckley's running on nicely from the back. Then Attracted Brunch. And after that one, Victorian Elfal and Psychopath trying to get in it. Then Admiral Scully. They're coming down towards the final two fences then now. And it's Cape Solitude by half a length through Angel or Demon in second. Gap back to Fires at Midnight. Mana Magic. Then Gold Coast and Attracted Brunch. Muckley's trying to run on as well. Then comes Victorian Elfal. They've still got two more fences to take. They're being long running. Three furlongs still to go. It's Cape 
deep solitude on the outside. Over the second last, lands in the lead. From in second place, Angel or Demon. Fires at midnight, running on again in third. Then comes Gold Coast and attracted race. They race down towards the final fence in there. And Cape Solitude is a length and a half clear. Cape Solitude gets over it in the lead. From in second place, Angel or Demon. Fires at midnight was third. Then attracted branch and Gold Coast. They're now on the big long run and they're racing down towards the elbow. And Cape Solitude is going well in the lead. But Angel or Demon and Fires at midnight are starting to close. Cape Solitude is in the lead, beginning to tie up. It's Angel or Demon who sweeps into the lead. Fires at midnight still running on in third. Angel or Demon in the lead. Angel or Demon racing up towards the line. And Angel or Demon is going to take it. He's going to be close for the miners. Probably just Gold Coast may have got up to take it. But it's Angel or Demon. Another winner over the national fences for Joshua Sutherland. And took that one nicely. Wins it by a good four lengths. Angel or Demon, the winner then for Joshua Sutherland. Gold Coast for Craig Beckwith was second. Cape Solitude, Darren Thompson third. Attracted Brent for James Sherry was fourth. And Fires at Midnight was fifth.